What's up you guys? Welcome back to Momani's channel. I have a very very special guest today. So if you guys follow the whole fam, you guys already know who she is. If you guys follow the whole fam, you guys know this is Moi Bri Bri on Instagram. Um, also Murillo Twins. Um, I'll put the link to the Murillo Twins channel in the description box in case you guys have not checked it out. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know, most of you guys know, but um, she's actually my niece, I'm her tia. So Brie actually made us one of my mom's recipes and it was so delicious. So she's gonna actually teach us how to make it. So what are we gonna be making today, Brie? So we're gonna be making pork chops con chile with nopales. We love nopales. Mm -hmm. If you're not a big fan of nopales, you don't necessarily have to add it, but we love nopales. And nopales are also super good for you guys. So super that, healthy. Yeah, they're very healthy. Um, so I do suggest you guys look into that. Also, we are both wearing Mo Money merch. Yes. So if you guys like it, I'll also put the um, link to the. Uh, I'll also put the link to my merch in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. But honestly, they're just very convenient to have. Like I didn't know how uh, important it was to have an apron when you're cooking because literally, if you want to be cute and like cook and stuff you don't get your clothes dirty so yeah and it honestly comes in handy guys i i actually it's time to wash this one because i've been using it yeah you've so been putting in work i put in so much work me and mama i have like so many of moza so i'm gonna switch it up but this is my favorite uh apron all right guys so we are going to need pork chops um, so I actually called my mom because I was a little confused. I didn't know if I should get the bone in or bone out. Um, she said that she uses both and that she liked the bone, the ones without the bone. So this is the one that I got. Um, I got three packs, but we actually got another one on the way just because you guys know we are like a big family and we have a bunch of people here. So I'm going to use in total... I'm probably going to make about 16 pork chops. They're not that big. You see, like, my hand's bigger than that. They're really small. You are going to need a bag of nopales. Um, so I got one bag, but we actually have another one um, coming. So we're going to use two bags of nopales. I also want to mention to you guys, if you guys don't like nopales, you don't have to put them in there. Um, you could just make them without. But personally, I recommend the nopales. You're going to need onion, garlic, tomatoes you're going to need chile california i have about four of them i also rinsed them and i took most of the seeds out i have three chile morita um i actually morita i don't know how the hell you say it but you guys know what i mean um i already rinsed these as well you're also going to need chile the arbol i didn't really count these um, I just kind of throw them in as I go. The chi the purpose of the chile de arbol is for spice. For spice. So this is um, this is what's gonna give. This is what's gonna make your chile spicy. You're going to need black pepper, salt. You guys know my all-time fave, Lori seasoning salt. You also need chicken bouillon. I just don't guys. Britt's also collabing with us, but she's actually making the rice. Yeah. So, so you guys will see me in the background. If you guys do, just ignore me. Mm -hmm. They're doing their. Own everyone thing. helps here. Yeah, everyone works for their plate. So Britt's working for her plate over here. My mama made the beans. Oh shit. Okay. My mom made the beans, so we're set on the beans. My mom works for her plate too. So we're gonna be seasoning the pork chops with these three right here. You want to go light on the lorries because the lorries is pretty salty, and you want to do both sides. Like it's almost done. It is not one of Sorry guys, we're having technical difficulties. <laughs> Just hold on. Just want to hold that. Mm -hmm. You do it. So we're just sprinkling the pepper. Well, if it comes out. I actually really love this pepper. What is it? Table grind pepper, so good. I don't know why I love it. Me too, because I think it's chunky. It's more flavorful too than the powder one. Mm-hmm. Is that like good? Yeah, enough? it's good. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's um, kind of covered. Yeah. Damn, that shit's working. Yeah. Okay, so we're actually gonna do it the old school way. We're gonna be like salt bay and just sprinkle it on there. And then we're gonna add our lorries. 
Yeah, like I said, go a little light on the voice because sometimes pork chops be coming out. Oh hard. shit, I'm not going light. No, oh, yeah, that's, no, that's what I did. I yeah. get a little carried away with it sometimes. And then we'll just add a little bit of salt too. So we're just gonna add a little bit because we already added the lori, so just barely. And honestly, you guys, um, you add the salt to your liking. So if you're a person that doesn't like to eat that much salt, you don't have to add this much. This is, but we all love like salty food here, so none of us are complaining. I think my. Like And then we're gonna flip it and repeat. The Instacart's here. All down the line, guys. Yeah. Instacart needs to sponsor us because we be giving them a lot of business. <laughs> Dude, we like we don't even go to the gro we don't even go grocery shopping no more. <laughs> we instantly literally I haven't stepped a foot in a grocery, even like Walmart or like Target. Me either, because it just um it's just it's a car. It's so convenient. All right, guys, so we seasoned our pork chops, the front and back, right? So we're just adding a little bit of oil just so it doesn't stick. Yes. And then you guys want to make sure it, the oil warms up a little bit before you put the pork chops on there. All right, guys, so we just put um, our nopales to cook, our cactus. So when you guys are trying to cook cactus, what we add is a piece of onion, and a piece of garlic. Well, it's actually one garlic clove. And you also want to add salt. Again, add salt to your liking. Yes. So we're just going to let that boil. All right, guys. So I have my pork chops um, frying now. So I can't wait. It already smells so amazing. Okay, you guys. After you guys see it getting brown like this, you you want to flip it to the other side and then once both sides are brown enough um, they're pretty much done but you guys can also do a taste test that is yeah. we, we have these cooking on the other side all right guys so our nopales are now done um the way you're going to know the nopales are done is when they are soft so just keep an eye on them and just try one. Um, and once it's soft, then that's when you can turn off the heat. This is how our pork chops are looking. Ooh, they they smell look delish. And they smell so good, you guys. Look at that. That crisp. Smell amazing. They gotta look, they gotta look super crisp like this. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So our pork chops are now done. We cooked, um, we cooked the pork chops about eight to ten minutes each side they do take we like our super crispy um so it's just how you guys want it but we like it like this it tastes so much better guys the flavor is just super yeah crispy. we like ours crispy so that's why we cook them like that but it would be like eight to ten minutes on one side flip it over eight to ten minutes on the other side and this is how our rice is coming along well it's brit's rice but and then it's we have our frijoles. Yeah, even though Brit's the only one that can make rice in this family. Well, besides. We really depend on Brittany, you guys. We really depend on her. I'm the yeah. rice maker here, guys. Yeah, so we need to do a tutorial soon. On I know, rice. we should do one on your channel, Piki. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, guys, I haven't tried to make rice since, like, fuck, maybe like 2000, like, 11. Um, I've never even tried. I tried to do it about three times and that's probably the only thing I really ever gave up on cooking um, Just because I did it usually like if something doesn't come out good the first time the second time I get it down But I made it like three times and it was just a fucking fail so I had a sad story with mine yeah, Britt would have good rice days and then she'd have bad rice days. No, but, but, when I was, but when I was young, I was like a teenager and I made some for the boy's dad. And I was just thinking, I was like, oh, I want to be a good wife, make enchiladas and 
rice and my rice came out so hard. It was my first time. And I literally ran to the restroom and started crying. Like, and I Because your rice didn't come out, right? But, yeah, because he, he said that it's, it's, um, it was like he was chewing sand. <laughs> he said that he was chewing sand. And, Damn, I, and they hurt my feelings and I literally ran to the restroom and I was like falling my eyes and I was like fuck that like it probably I I bet you should have cooking rice like four years ago, three years ago. Yeah, well look at you now. Look at you yeah, now in charge of the rice. Away. You got this now. Now that Nino's enjoying yeah. the long rice. Right? Yeah. But Brit has good rice days every day now, guys, because yeah. she got the rice thing down. So Yeah, I got I don't want to go through that. Sorry, I'm so normal. Like rice is so hard to make. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to practice a couple times again. I'm gonna see if I if I got got it this time. All right, guys. So I just threw in four tomatoes um to boil along with all my chiles. And then Bree, these two are for the chile, right? Uh -huh. The garlic for the chile. Yeah. It's for the do we throw it into boil too? No. Oh. The garlic, we are not gonna boil, you guys. We're gonna let these two chill right here till everything else is done. Alright, guys. So the chiles are now soft along with our tomatoes. You literally only wanna let them boil for about two to three minutes because it will change the flavor if you leave them in for too long. And then we got Britt making our beans over here. I'm smashing my beans. All right, guys, so we have all our chiles in here in the licuadora, the blender, and then I have my fresh garlic cloves. We did not boil these, okay? These are fresh. We're going to throw two of them in there and a piece of onion. All right, guys, so now we're going to add the water that we boiled the chiles in into the blender. The more water, the more juice you get. Yeah, so this is going to be like our sauce, so you kind of want to make enough uh, to cover the pork chops. Yes. And then now we're gonna add the consomme. This is our friend, you guys. We go through this like crazy. And again, you guys add however much you want. Maybe about like two and a half. And then if, if it still needs like more salt after we try it, we'll add more. And so for now, we are gonna blend this. So that's two and a half tablespoons, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, so our salsa is now ready. Let me show you guys the consistency so you guys kind of get an idea. So we made it like that. All right, so now we have our little nopalitos, our cactus right here, and we're going to add them to the pork chop. So we're going to just throw them in to the top. Okay. We're gonna bring our pan to a low heat because we want everything to still like cook together along with the juice that we're gonna pour in. So make sure you guys have it on low and then we're gonna pour in our juice. This is why it's called um, nopales con chile with nopales. Um, you mean pork chops? Oh wait, what did I say? You said nopales con chile and nopales. Oh. <laughs> Rick, you took that on the vlog too. Dude, I, I be like, I don't know where I'm going. Rick, you took that on the vlog that I just edited. You did the exact same thing with the carne asada. You, you said the same thing and I was like, no, she's tripping like, that's a whole other thing. It's okay, so, if anyways, you guys, I know. Y'all know what she meant. Okay, so yeah, this is how it's supposed to look like at the end you guys and when you pour yourself you want to make sure you get a little bit of everything no palace and the juice it's so good and you guys can even add a little bit of the juice on your rice and it's so, oh my god so that sounds so bomb yeah so pretty much everything's ready now we got our beans our rice and that monster just woke up hi you just woke up my baby so you guys let it cook in the salsa a little bit just so that the pork chops get the flavor of the salsa 
All right, you guys, our pork chops are now officially done. We let them cook in here for about 10 minutes just so that the pork chops could catch the flavor. We got our tortillas cooking. We topped it off with aguacate and queso fresco. Mm -hmm. These are mine and Bree's plates. Oh my God, you guys, fucking fire. We got our aguacate. Oh. All right, you guys. So this is the moment you all have been waiting for. This is for all my freaks. All right. So we are doing the famous, famous fetish right? So this is so good, you guys. You just have to try it. It's a mess. It's so easy to do also. Mm. Mm. All right, you guys. So I have this is my pork chops right here. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, boy. This is fire. So fucking fire. And the nopales are so good. I don't know. I'm really like fan of nopales. I fucking love nopales too. And the nopales are here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good, you guys. Oh my god. Fucking fire. You guys must try this. So good. You guys will not regret it. Have your grandmas or moms or yourselves to make them. This will be a weekly recipe in your guys' dinner plates. And I swear to God, your husbands are gonna love it. Mm -hmm. And guys, too, you gotta cook for your girl. Mm -hmm. So if I got any guys watching, make sure you guys take notes down to cook for your girl. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, and that completes today's video. I hope you guys loved our recipe. Let me know if you guys make a similar recipe to mine. I would love to know what you guys maybe add different to it. I'll drop it in the comments down below. Make sure to tag us in your guys' video so we can repost them. I would love to see them. And you guys, uh, just remember if your page is private, it will not let us repost. So make sure you guys tag me and Brie and we will both repost you guys. Don't forget to check out the Mo Money merch if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload. And I'm also going to put the link um, in my description box for the twins link um, to her channel. I thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel.